Sunday, I met a man that greatly inspired me. I'm talking about Charles Muli from Kenya. Shout out to my Kenyan people. This man's story has been made into a movie. And if you are yet to watch the Muli movie, please, please, you can rent this movie or you can buy it on YouTube or Google Play on that movies and TV. But you know, this story is so inspiring that it can change your perception about acquiring wealth or living the successful life. Honestly, I cried while I was watching this movie. And without telling you everything, because I want you to watch it, this man came from nothing and his parents abandoned him at the age of six and for 10 years he begged for food on the street he slept on the street the day that this man decided that he would commit suicide someone invited him to church and he decided to go just to see but that day he heard a message of hope that there is a purpose for his life and so he gave his life to Christ that day and he decided to walk for three and a half days he walked on his feet until he got to the city the city of Nairobi where he found a good Samaritan that took him in he started working you know as a layman he was later able to buy a taxi and then another taxi and then another one and this man became a multi-millionaire he married a beautiful woman he had eight children and traveled the world now this was not included in the movie but he told us that when he became wealthy he went and found his parents who abandoned him at the age of six because they thought he would die he was always getting sick and he brought them into the city and built them a house he built them a house as in he forgave them including relatives that refused to give him food he forgave all of them and he became so rich that he would take his family on vacation in America Europe Asia he owned all kinds of companies and properties he was changing cars like every few weeks until one day his life was changed because street kids stole his car and that reminded him of how he used to live on the street as well begging for food and you know he couldn't get it out of his mind for days and you know that because of that incident this man sold all his businesses he stopped working and he started bringing in street kids fatherless children abandoned children into his own house he didn't start an orphanage or send them money or give them scholarship he wanted to give them something that he didn't have when he was growing up which is a father figure so he became their father and from taking in two children they became four they became 10 30 50 children in his house and every night he will go to the slums of Kiberia and he will find a child that was left to die and he will bring them home he and his wife took care of these children they gave them food they put them in school they bought them clothes they taught them all kinds of vocational jobs such as sewing painting some of these children were child prostitutes some were drug addicts but he brought them all in later they became 100 they became more than 100 and the house became too small for them so they had to move to a countryside where they had more land and then they got to 1000 children so they built them schools because he could no longer pay school fees or of so many children so they built their own primary school their own secondary school and you know that their school is ranked one of the best in all of Kenya and every year their school is rated as the best in their district they even teach them karate can you believe that their karate team went to represent Kenya at the African Olympics honestly this family went all out and huge kudos to their eight children I cannot imagine that it was easy and huge kudos to his wife for accommodating her husband so they've been doing this now for 29 years so 29 years Yes, and can you believe that they have successfully raised more than 13,000 children? 13,000 who are now on their own. We're talking about professionals, businessmen, business women, doctors, lawyers, entrepreneurs. Some of these children studied abroad, some of them even live abroad now. I'm just saying that their lives have forever been changed and you know what they all call him daddy because he was the father that they knew they presently have about 3,000 children that they are taking care of right now even as we speak they have their own choir by the way and sometimes they will fly them to Canada or other parts of the world to perform <laughs> But you know, a 
it wasn't easy when you watch that movie you would cry there were times that they had no food there were times that they had no money <laughs> there were times that they had no water especially when they moved into the new location but they kept going people laughed at him his friends said that he was crazy even his church abandoned him they were telling him you know it's okay to help from afar you don't have to bring them into your house you know please watch that movie if you can honestly it's life-changing we need more people like Muli. you know the whole time I was watching that movie I kept thinking about so many wealthy people that we have in my country Nigeria and the lives that they could change instead of buying private jets and preaching about prosperity honestly I don't think that Muli has to preach to any of these children because you know action speaks louder than voice nobody can fight real love above all this man is the definition of humility I mean he doesn't even know what he has done he was so humble and you know in the movie he decided that he would not depend on donors because he remember what it was like when he used to beg he said the beggar has no choice he said he wanted this work to be self-sustained and with the help of this children that he has adopted they started farms and they were able to produce more than they need such that they are now a major supplier of food produce in Kenya for real if you think a lot about making it in life being successful please watch this movie because suddenly you would realize that even though you are not where you want to be there are people that are not as fortunate as you and you can make a difference in somebody's life you don't have to be moly you don't have to bring in thousands of children but maybe there is a child out there that you are the only one that can help or maybe there's a family out there that because of proximity to them you are the one that can help them i'm just saying watching this movie would inspire you to touch other lives this is not an orphanage some of us were orphans but now we have a home i used to go to bed hungry change is possible restoration is possible with god all things are possible right here i have learned this is true welcome to my home welcome to my family the biggest family in the world you guys know i don't know much guess what i'm just keeping it wrong.